gonna show the back gains a little bit. My skin is primed and ready. Mm. This coffee is good. I think this is giving holiday makeup right now. You say up? I meant down, sorry. You say down? Yeah. He just likes my hair down all the time. Like, it's not even a real question Girl, for you. My hair is so, so sexy. But Hi loves and welcome back. I am going to be basically getting ready with you guys because I have a Christmas coffee event at church and it's gonna be very formal so I'm gonna be getting nice and dolled up so it's gonna be like basically a vlog style get ready with me. So the dress that I'm wearing is actually a red dress and my nails are already done. I did the fill and I just did an off milky white again. My nails and toes are both this color, so I do believe it's gonna be perfect for the red dress because it is a holiday party, so it's gonna be really nice to just kind of bring out those reds and whites. I haven't gotten dolled up in a while, um, like as far as like to go somewhere fancy, so I'm actually pretty excited. Two of my friends are going to be there. So they are part of our life group and also our marriage group. So I can't wait to see them. It's gonna be really exciting. So. Okay, good morning, good morning guys. So this is what we are working with. Uh, your girl is over here trying to moisturize her hair. I have some form of like twist thing going on. I was supposed to do this last night, but I was too lazy. Tonight is the holiday party and this is I really hope this gives me something nice because it has before. I know it looks raggedy, but it has before. So <laughs> basically I'm just moisturizing with this rose water, but this is my pure rose water that I made in my last video. So if you wanna know how I make my rose water for my hair and my skin, definitely click on that video. But I also have a spray bottle of rose water. So I'm just moisturizing real quick. And then I'm just gonna casually throw it into one of these twists. And I'm hoping that this is giving something really nice and spectacular later because your girl, your girl is trying to do maybe like some sort of updo. I want to show you guys the dress that I'm wearing because oh, it's so cute. I'm actually stuck between two dresses, okay? Let me show you guys the options. Actually, let me finish the side, then I'll show you guys the options. Okay, so I'm just casually twisting my hair, watching my vlog that I just put out. You know, you know you're entertained and you know you worked hard on the vlog whenever you're just watching your own vlogs. This is how I'm twisting my hair. And then the moisturizer that I use is this Olive Miracle Anti-Breakage Leave-In Conditioner. And that's what that baby looks like. And this thing works so so good and i had already explained to you guys how i use rose water on my hair so first up is this one this one is just very long this one goes like to the bottom like all the way to the floor and ooh, this is the back so the back is open the front is you know just very tight and it, it will show my chest which you know chest day has been going strong so what I do love is that it covers my tattoos because it's long sleeve that's really the only reason I'm thinking about wearing this one is because of the fact that it looks very formal but it's also long sleeve so I I just I've been on a kick of just like really covering my tattoos if you guys didn't know I have basically a whole like what half a sleeve or half a top sleeve um i like to cover my tattoos when i'm getting dressed because i just don't really like sometimes i just don't really like showing my tattoos so this is the red dress and it's long at the bottom it has a slit that goes to like my like my mid thigh so it's gonna be open and like show my legs a little bit and as you guys can see, this is the front and the back is just super basic. Like you just zip it up and it's good to go. And then this is the front. So it cups the breast area and shows all of my tattoos, which I kind of don't want. I would love probably to wear this one if I had something to like throw on top of it, but I don't have that and I'm not going out today to go find that. This is the picture that she sent me. 
and our table is so cute let me show you guys so this is the decoration for our table that we're going to be sitting at and it's so beautiful you guys look at that that's going to be our table that we're going to be sitting at for this party okay 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 my loves so we are actually in the guest room slash the room that our firstborn likes to sometimes sleep in whenever she needs a little break from her younger sister. So um, I'm, I'm liking this little, this little difference of background. My setup is all right here and I'm about to take the twist out of my hair. I've got a nice little coffee and I've also got some water just to get the caffeine in but also stay hydrated. Um, I moisturized my face already. I'm dealing with some breakouts and all of that stuff, which is never a nice thing, but it is what it is. I still need to go ahead and spray my face with the rose water, which I love to do because it's just a nice base for your makeup, but also I use it as a toner and I also use it on my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out the twist just to see what my hair is working with as far as, you know, just a little shape that it gave it. So let's see. Honestly, I wasn't gonna wear my hair down. I feel like wearing my hair up is gonna be the best thing for wearing this dress because I just think, you know, it has a nice little back cut on it. So just, you know, gonna show the back gains a little bit. <laughs> I do have a nice little curl pattern. Let's go ahead and do some makeup. So my skin is primed and ready. Um, I don't do too much makeup. So basically I go in with a lighter color and I just, with this color is where I kind of go in with my marks that are very dark. I am still trying to fine tune my um, my skincare routine at the moment. So at this point, like I think the only thing I need is a salicylic acid and then a really good sunscreen for my skin. So after that, I'm ready to do just like a really good skincare routine and then give you guys an update probably in a month to see if it really like if it helped at all. Next, I'm gonna just go in with my actual skin tone color and I just add a couple dots. Not too much, but okay. And then I'm just going to beat that into my face, just like that. So the foundation is applied and I've never really liked to put makeup on my forehead, but we're just, we're just going to go with it today. Let's do a little bit on the lid of the eye. Okay. So that, that actually looks really good. Mm. I'm going to add a little bit at the bottom because that's where the bottom part is typically where I get all of the acne um, scars. So just a little bit more coverage. And this is, I'm going into depth because obviously this is a holiday party, but typically I don't even do all of this. I just do a very thin coat of concealer and I'll put my blush. So now, I think what I do next is I just bronze my face a little bit. So let's do that. Mm, this coffee is good. I think my husband is coming in now, the girls. So honestly, I do need something that's a lot darker than this for my bronze, but it has been working just fine. So I'm just gonna use that and that's how I bronze my face first. This is not the blush I use. I'm gonna show you guys what I do for blush because I feel like the blush just really takes it up a notch. And I kind of do a little bit of shadow effect here on my nose and then under my lip. Go and then at the bottom of my face. Is that you guys? Okay. So, now that that's done. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my powder, which is my favorite thing to do. And I just do a little bit of it. I don't really do all of that extraness. And because I feel like it's wasted product, you know, when you're just doing the powder and then you're like brushing half of it off. To me, that's just wasted product and it's just extra work. So I just grab a little bit and I make sure that the powder just dissolves as I'm doing that because it's just the easiest thing to do. A little bit on the bridge of my nose. Okay. And then I define my cheekbone. As you can see, you don't need a lot. Like, you really don't. I'm a very simple makeup type of person. I don't like all the extraness. So, you see, that defined it really well, but it didn't do too much. So this is the highlighter that I use. It's really nice because it has the two different colors that I can pick from. And yeah, it's just really, really nice. So I just kind of mainly put that on the bridge of my nose, like right here. And then I, well, that's not the bridge, like the front of my nose, a little bit on the bridge, not too much. And then a little bit on the top corner, the I'm sorry, I suck at like explaining what I'm doing, but you guys can see where I'm putting it. So yeah, and I also do a little bit of this on my cheeks before I do my blush. I don't even know if I'm putting this right, if I have the right brush, but this is what I do. I am a very simple person and I get it done with what I have. So, hey, maybe I should get some new makeup brushes. Mm. So next is my favorite part, which is the blush. What I've been doing for blush at the moment, I'll use these combined and it comes out really nice and like pigmented, but you gotta know how to blend it really nicely too. So let me just do that really quick. I do a little on my nose, just make my nose a little cherry red. You can see that adds a lot of dimension and color to my face, but I definitely need to blend it a little bit better. I am the type of girl that actually likes the blush to be a little bit out there, so I don't blend too much. I just do enough. So, um, a little bit on the forehead. We are good. So the next thing that I do is I'm just going to powder my forehead and the rest of my face because I already know that it's probably going to be getting oily. That's why I don't like putting really makeup on my forehead, but I did it for this video just because. But yeah, I'm just adding some powder throughout my face to set everything really. And then I don't have a setting spray. I don't use a setting spray. So that's just what I do. So now for the lips, I most definitely line my lips. I don't overline though but I do line them. So the lips are lined and I'm gonna show you guys what I do for my lips, but I gotta go grab the color really quick. Mm. I feel like this is a really nice subtle makeup look. All right, so we're going for a little brown lip moment. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit on the lips. So for the brown lip moment, I'm just going to be using my brown color just watch what I'm gonna do okay and then I grab this gloss that I have this is it's super old it's by Rimiel London I can zoom that in so this is the one that I'm going in with it's the gloss I know my lips look crazy right now but just wait okay so I apply that just a little bit and you're gonna blend it so good. Just blend. <laughs> so then now I'm gonna add a hint of red. Here we go. All right, let me zoom out because it looks kind of crazy right now, but you guys can see it gives me a really nice brown and red moment. Um, okay, 
I think that looks a lot better. But you guys can see how subtle that looks, but also just like very, like you have the brown on the edges. My fingers are a mess right now, but you have like the brown on the edges and then you have a really nice red. So I think this is giving holiday makeup right now. So this is just amazing. I'm, I'm loving it. Mm. This is looking really nice right now. I'm actually loving it. So now it's time to put on the dress. And then I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair once I put the dress on. Because I actually want to see how it looks like with my hair down. So I'll be right back. All right, the dress is on. And oh my goodness, I am so, I'm so excited right now. This entire look. Ah! Okay, so this is what we're working with. This is what it looks like. And y'all, I'm just, look at my back, how it, how it looks. That's why I wanted to do the updo. Because I feel like my back, it, it just, it, this is for an updo, you know? But then again, it's it's really nice with my hair down. So basically for the updo, I was going to do my little two pieces out in the front and then a bun. But I really feel like this hair right now is it for this look. Like, I just think it is. And I just have to be careful because, you know, obviously, got to make sure it's not coming over. Oh my God. All right, not me having like an emotional breakdown on the internet. <laughs> but all right, so basically, let's let's go ahead and do this. So all right. Nice little edges and very simple. Oh my goodness, babe, this looks so good. This looks so good. Jesus. Fire, huh? Fire is an understatement. <laughs> bah, bah. Oh, my husband is is loving the look. No te vas para ningún lado. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you this is beautiful. just okay. So this is what I was thinking. I was thinking about doing like leaving two pieces and then pulling the hair back because I feel like this hair just calls for the hair to be up i think it looks really pretty and you can see uh, like all of the details of the dress with my hair up but i want you guys to leave in the comments what i should do with my hair or what i should have done because i honestly think i'm gonna wear it down even though i really want to wear it up because it shows the back very nicely I say up. You say up? I meant down, sorry. You say down? Yeah. He just likes my hair down all the time. Like, it's not even a real question Girl, for you. Your long hair is so, so sexy. But ladies that know about dresses, you guys know, like, when you're wearing a certain dress, you want to show off the whole dress. And when your hair is a certain length, it just covers. So I feel like my hair just covers basically the entire dress in the back. So he says my hair, um, he says my hair down. I think I am going to do my hair down though because it's just giving more of a like party girl look and then with my hair up it's just more like elegant and chic. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. That hair down is party girl. <laughs> elegant. <laughs> so you guys let me know what I should have done. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to wear it down though. I just don't know if I'm going to do it to this side. <laughs> Wait a second. Okay. So yeah. Okay, yeah, this is the side that I like to wear it on. So this is the look. This is this is the look. And I'm sorry, but I just I cannot stop looking at myself in the viewfinder because this is just this is just so nice. Um, this is the holiday get ready with me. So this was just the hair and the everything together. And I twisted my hair this morning, you guys. I told you guys it was gonna give me a very nice beachy type of wave, which is what I like to go for um because that's just what i like to go for but you can see the waves are just very very nice which typically my hair waves like this naturally anyway but whenever i want my hair to act right and to make sure that it's gonna wave properly then i just do the twist so this is the look and i'm loving the dress this is in the bottom of the dress it's very very you guys can see you know like it's just Oh, it looks so good. Thank you so much for joining me for this three-in-one holiday get ready with me. Hubby wanted to have some of the... <laughs> Mine. <laughs> Hubby wanted to have some of the spotlight. If you like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. This is what the hair is looking like. 
And I think it does still show off the back a little bit. Like it doesn't completely cut it off, right? Yeah. The back. That looks Okay, you guys, so hair down it is, but comment down below what you think I should have done, if I should have wore it up or down, because I'm definitely interested in, in what you guys like the best. But yeah, this is, this is it. I just have to be careful when I'm like going low, but this is it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I love you guys. I will see you all back for another video. Bye. Mm -hmm.